Hi, this is Tim Knight from Invest Tools here to talk about how to move drawn objects in profit charts. In profit charts, you can draw any variety of objects, trend lines, uh, channels, all kinds of things. I'll just move the toolbar up here so you can see better. There's uh, horizontal lines, text notes, Fibonacci studies, and so forth. But one of the big benefits of the product is that once you draw an object, you can move it. So if it's not as precise as you like, or if you want to change where things are laid down, you can do that as, easy, as easily as you could do with any drawing program. One important thing that you want to make sure of, just for simplicity's sake, is that a certain setting is on. Uh, it comes this way by default, but what you'll find under the uh, preferences in profit charts, and I'll choose that here, preferences, is there is a certain checkbox known as snap to OHLC, that is open, high, low, close values during drawing. I'll turn that on like so. Uh, that comes to you checked anyway, so unless you've expressly turned it off, it should be that way. But that makes it a lot easier to accurately uh, change and draw objects. Let me show you a specific example of how this is done. Here's a uh, graph of the uh, DIA, and I'll go ahead and choose the trend line tool and place a drawn line from here to here, and I'll deliberately do a poor job drawing this trend line. Um, if you double click on a drawn object, the handles will appear. That is, these small squares will show you where you can click and drag that trend line anywhere you want. So you're certainly not stuck with wherever you've laid it down. You may notice that as I move this around, as I, as I approach uh, price bars, it'll almost magnetically fetch that for me. So it just jumps to the high of that bar. The reason being that uh, it makes it much easier to accurately place them on those extremes, which is typically where you want to place any drawn object. So we've got that one here. And up here, I can double click again, and here's this handle. And perhaps instead I wanted it to go to this price bar. So even though this is, is not even zoomed in, I can still very accurately place it. And if I zoom in on that particular portion, as you can see, it has placed it to the penny uh, where I wanted it. And so unzooming again, we can see this object has been very accurately placed. And I can uh, right click on it to, for example, extend that line out into the future. So this isn't just for trend lines. Any given drawn object, be they Fibonacci fans or a text note, if you want to move where it's located with those handles, just double click on it and move them at will.